I told a lie. Pretty naughty for a policeman. I said I had one lesson. In fact, I got two. Who doesn't like a surprise? You need high level support when you go through post-traumatic stress. My greatest supporters, mum and dad. And for years, I brought horrendous, painful and sad news from the shooting to them. This is an example of what the shooting brought to them. You might remember I had a gum transplant. They cut out a 20 cent sized piece of skin from the roof of my mouth and they placed that over the bone transplant. The surgeon couldn't quite seal my mouth up and he sent me home and gave me some gauze. He said, oh, it'll heal in time. A lot of pain <laughs> and I needed to get to sleep. So I took heavy sleeping tablets and the doc was right. The, the gauze did do its job and they, they filled up with blood. But then the blood continued to flow and the gauze were full and the blood continued to flow. Mum and Dad woke to find me in bed, had to get me out of bed, get the t-shirt off me, help clean me up. So that's one example of what the shooting brought to them. But this year was different. I did a favour for a friend in 2014. He invited me to a function and I met this guy, Mike Alafashi. And my mate who invited me went over to, to Mike and said, hey Mike, uh, this is Green. he's got a really interesting story. So I started to tell Mike a little bit about what happened to me, some of the talking I was doing in the police. And he thought I had something special. And it turns out he was an executive performance coach. And he knew. I couldn't afford his fees. I'm a copper. What did he do? He started to work with me for free, coaching me and speaking. And through Mike, I learnt about an opportunity, which I'll share with you shortly. And I thought, geez, this opportunity might suit me. But then I learned professionals in the field who earn their living were applying. I'm just a copper. My heart sank. I have sat in the shower and I've had the water pour over me and I felt sorry for myself. And I have learnt it got me nowhere. Only action got me anywhere. And I've often called on a very, a line from a very inspiring movie. And I did it on this occasion. And that line is, get busy living or get busy dying. I got busy living. I put pen to paper. I accepted help from Mike. I applied for this opportunity. I flew down to Canberra. You had to be at this gala event where they were announcing it. Nine people had applied. I was at a large table. Nobody knew that I applied and I didn't know what was about to occur. The uh, MC was then announced the award. This year's Kerry Nan Scholarship for Public Speaking is awarded to a person who speaks on leadership, resilience, and has served more than two decades in the Queensland Police. I've looked around. No, nope, no other coppers here from Queensland. After I got off the stage from accepting the scholarship, you don't have to guess who I picked up the telephone to. A couple of days later, I arrived back in Brisbane. Mum and Dad were there to pick me up and drop me back to my apartment. What did I do? I jumped out in front of the car with the scholarship plaque and I shook it. Finally, after 15 years, I had brought something good directly related to the shooting to my 81-year-old mother and 83-year-old father who were with me every step of the way on my post-traumatic stress journey. They stood by me when all seemed hopeless. They supported me through all the torment and they showed me what unconditional love was. The lesson I wish to share with you today from that story is not just for people who have suffered post-traumatic stress but for anybody who suffered stress and we've all suffered stress. Do not listen to the misinformed who have not walked one centimetre in your shoes. Some people, they'll never empathise. Some people will just want you to get over it. Some people will be inconvenienced by what you're going through. 
Ignore them. You won't change them. Do this. Do the most courageous thing you can do. Ask for help. Do the smartest thing you can do. Accept support. And do the most fulfilling thing you can do. Still hold on to your dreams.